Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year's. Um, I got a new ring light and I got a new microphone so I'm hoping this will reduce the noise from the cars passing by. Since I do live in a main street, it kind of gets annoying. But hopefully my voice sounds a little bit better. I am getting over a cold. Um, it's not COVID and it's not all these other viruses going around. When I get sick, I get really sick and I sometimes lose my voice. And then I'm not 100% good but I am like like 85% because my nose still feels a little eh but I'm getting better so anyways um oh man my camera's gonna die today I wanted to do another quick review on the bumper cars that I I kind of forgot about and I haven't done it um we did have these bumper cars for my daughter's birthday um I'll be showing clips around here we thought they were awesome. I bought two and I was going to buy two more, but then I had no place to put it. I was going to rent it. Oh, my child's waking up. No. I was going to rent them, but it was so expensive to rent like a whole little setup for the bumper cars and like for four of them, I believe. It was going to be like in the hundreds, I don't know, like four or five hundred bucks for three hours or something like that. So I was like, uh-uh. So I'd rather, buy, I'd rather buy them and keep them. So that's what I did. I bought two though. And I bought the railing from Amazon to kind of keep them inside. It was a great hit. I did not buy the kids zone one. I bought this other brand from Walmart. They worked fine. I know some kids wanted to um, ride them, but they were a little bit heavier and they didn't like move. Even when they tried, like they tried going on it and they tried to like manage moving them, but it, it just wouldn't go. So it doesn't work for like heavier kids, like bigger kids, um, only for toddlers and younger. And it also came with a controller, which was really nice for parents to like control it for the child that was just sitting there like, I don't know what to do. So um, that was very helpful. They came with a control each one. They had the stickers to put it on the bumper cars. I didn't put them on. I think it would have been nice, but I just, I got lazy and I didn't do it. Um, but I mean, if you have a lot, you want to keep track of them, I guess having the numbers on them would be better. But, um, yeah, I really like them. They are big, like, they're not that small and they are durable, like, they would bump into each other or whatever. I love how it lights up and it has music to go with it. And so I thought it was a great purchase. Would I buy them again? Um, no, I would. I found a lot of them on OfferUp. And if you're interested in buying them, I think that would be your best choice just because it is cheaper. And um, I think parents, the kids don't always use them as much as you think they would. At least my children um, or my daughter didn't use it as much as I thought she would. So I gave one to my friend after the party. And so, um, but it really is fun. I think she would have loved it more if she has more space since we do live like in a little area. Um, she doesn't really have room to play with, play with it. And she's also like the only, like an only, my only daughter. So then she didn't have someone to play with until now that I have my second daughter. But she's still a baby. So she still kind of plays on her own. So she doesn't have anyone to play with. If you have more than one, I think that would have been fun for them to like play and chase each other around. But for now, she didn't really use it. She still has it. She has one at least. So when I thought it gets bigger, maybe they'll play with it. Um, if not, I'm going to end up selling it on offer up like everyone else. So, but if you're thinking about it and you have more than one child around the same area, I think they would really like it. And I would suggest first um, trying to search for it on like Facebook Market or offer up. Um, I think they have cheaper options. I think some people sell it for like 100 bucks, which is pretty cheap compared to paying like 180 I think. So, they are fun. I wish they had adult sites because I know a lot of us adults wanted to write it and I'm just like, I wish they had adult ones, like the same thing, just bigger for us, you know, so we can like bump into each other. Um, I always enjoyed going on those rides when we went to theme parks and things like that, so they should come up with like an adult version but for now um i really loved it we didn't have any issues with it at first i thought it was broken but i you have to connect it and set it up on your own the little um, handles didn't come connected they come popped out so you gotta pop them in and then you have to unscrew the seat cover and then connect all the cables which i, I didn't know i had my husband be like i don't know what's going on here um it wasn't that hard but i didn't know what i was doing i didn't even, i didn't think about them being connected so there was always that 
but yes um that's pretty much it i give it a thumbs up i i thought it was a good deal on walmart because amazon had the more expensive and i'm like mm -mm, not about that so don't be scared to order them on walmart if you don't want to order them in amazon but amazon does have them as well so yeah that's pretty much it i'll see you guys in my next video bye